Uh, I'm gonna start with a random, pointless story that's like of no interest to anyone. But uh, yeah, I was putting on some weight recently because I haven't had very good access to like regular exercise for a while, and I thought, oh shit, um, I think this is. Oh my god, really? I think this is just me getting older, because I'm about 20, I'm, I'm nearly 29. So I thought, oh yeah, that's just it, man. Oh. Is there egg? There is egg. And like, so many people I know, mostly party guys and party girls who literally get drunk and like, do drugs and drink and eat all the time. Stay out late. Wow, okay. Fine. Asshole. <laughs> Exhale. They could make those whirlwinds a little more like their boundaries obvious, but like fine. Um the fact that it respawns you there so you can die infinitely, so I remember that being a problem. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, I, I started working out, I'm, like, I was, like, thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to have real trouble dropping this weight, and, uh, honestly, it's like I'm still 20. Like, my tummy's back to flat after literally just eating a little bit better, and spending like every day just doing a few bench presses, a little bit of uh, like heavy bag work, doing some shadow boxing, and it's fine. Oh, hello. Ah, yet another daredevil adventurer oh. has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of Maybe. tougher stuff than last guy. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my cat's my running riddle, all my way bench. We'll give you a prize befitting your efforts. Here is my riddle. I am a vessel without hinges, lock, or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hidden. What am I? Okay. Is it this? So that's that's good to know because I was sat here really worrying for a bit. I was thinking, oh, end of the line, gonna get turned into a fat old man soon. It's good to know that my body's still like going pretty strong, and you know,
save. There you go. Pretty sure she wasn't saving. So yeah, I've been watching a lot of uh, classic movies that I missed out on as well lately. So the latest thing has been Friday the 13th. And man, if you've not watched those movies, yeah, go go watch some of those movies because they're like I've never seen a wider deviation between two, you know, from movie to movie. Some movies are absolute amazing classics. Some are funny because they're so, like, cheesy. What the fuck? Some are super cheesy, some are just straight up terrible, and Jason X is just, I don't even know what the fuck Jason X was, but it was a thing, that was for sure. It was an experience. Just won the gem, but Sparks is too stupid. Yeah, um, so, so far I've watched, uh, Jason 6, Jason 3, okay, Friday the 13th Part 3, Part 6, Part 7, and X, and I'm gonna watch Jason Goes to Hell soon. a trick. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, they're very interesting to see as basically an uh, exercise of this is what happens if you let anyone use your license to like either crank out terrible movies or just like, you know, ah. you know, it's just a very interesting exercise of what happens if you let random shitty directors who claim that they have a vision write a shitty movie and what happens if you just let some really good, well thought out projects happen? And the directive studio changes from like. You know. Movie to movie, you know? I thought that it was like possibly by the same people, and then I was. You know, they show you the credits before each movie, which is actually very helpful. Because without that, you'd be completely like sat there thinking that these are all made by the same group of people. 
And like sometimes they make some of them are absolutely excellent. They're love letters to the genre, and uh, some are just absolutely god awful. And I don't know which ones are popular with each groups of people, you know. So I don't know if people are gonna go crazy if I throw my opinion into the mix and say you're wrong. But I know what I fucking saw, and part seven fucking sucks. <laughs> and I'm just going to sit down and say, if you try and defend part seven in anything, like, okay, it had some okay things. It had some okay things, you know? How come going backwards it was much easier than going forwards in this one? that they're different as well. Each one is different. Like, it's not even like they're even roughly the same. Everything has a different, like, style, a different flavor. Every Jason movie is, even though they're the same elements, you can tell straight away, you know? Oh, the dogs upstairs are going nuts because the same twat who, like, loves to drill all day, then brings in a horde of dogs after a short period of time and goes, you know what, just gonna leave them here to bark, not gonna give them any food, not gonna treat them right, I'm just gonna sit here and let them bark. And now they're just barking, and that's gonna be the whole night, a dog going, ow, 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 for like, until midnight, and then probably way past midnight while he just ignores it, because he's probably gone out. Way to be the biggest cunt neighbor. Let me guess, 3 a.m. he's gonna start a dubstep rave now. Cause you know, he's got the trifecta down otherwise. Drills in the morning, dogs the rest of the time. Howling, because he's ignoring them because he's an abusive owner. I probably did this in the wrong order, yeah. Uh, yeah, but anyway, the very weird Friday the 13th movies. Jason X is just bizarre. Like, it's trying to be a kitschy kind of like... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's trying to be like a kitschy 90s... Well, it's, it's succeeding very much at being a product of the 90s in 2001. So, that kind of time period. Oh, oh, I'm sliding. This takes me a while to realize. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's a very weird kind of like... It's a very weird kind of, uh... Movie, there's like... A if I, like, my friend recommended it to me, and I said, if you'd said to me before watching this movie, a robot lady who shows her boobies at the beginning of the movie, uh, blows his head off of a space gun whilst backflipping, screaming, hell yeah, motherfucker, and then she tries to sleep with her creator, um, and that was a legitimate, thanks, that was a legitimate part of this movie, I would have genuinely been like, you're lying, I just wanted that gem. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I would have thought you to be a liar, because like, um, there is no way in hell that, that that can be the movie, right? That's what I thought, like, and he already told me some of the lines, but he didn't ruin any of it for me, because he was like, no spoilers. But, like, there's a, there's a fucking Doom reference. If I told you that there was a Doom reference in a Friday the 13th movie, well, a Jason movie, they removed the name after a while. 
well, after this one. Oh, kidding me. You know, if I told you that, would you... <laughs> yeah. There's one of the guys going to chase Jason, they literally... That, that door being shut at such an abrupt time is literally just to fuck with you there. Because they run into boulders. Fuck off. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna deal with this properly. Oh, no we're not, because fuck me. Oh. Oh my god, just pick up the thing. Gosh, fucking sarcophagus. Bye. So, uh, yeah, like, that is just a whole thing, like, very weird. <laughs> Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well, a bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorcerers. I will. I've waited 10,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now I can finally head off the seashell short of many some bones. That's weird. You're, you're also down there, though. That's so two different people. That's so weird. Okay, so up here was the snake. Uh, let's go do Agent Nine. One of those dogs in the funny hat put a curse on me just as I shot him in the butt a couple times. He said he turned my tail into a snake. It doesn't look like a snake to you. It does look kind of funny come to think of it. Oh, boy, that dog's gonna bang. Footsteps. Ah, you're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. Yeah. You may proceed to the first trial. Rude. Don't know what it is with these angles, but oh, snacks. Uh, make sure you're in the middle first. Circle strafe, motherfucker. Doom taught me a lot. Yeah, so Jason X is fucking weird. Go watch Jason X. Uh, they're about as scary as Sharknado. Destroy the spawn point. Sparks levels later are like this top-down bullet shooter thing. Uh, just with more bullets. Ah. Very funny though. It's very strange. Just a very strange. But I'm glad I watched it because this seems like quite in the vein of things like the Doom movie, Red Dwarf, that kind of thing, you know? Uh, very much the same kind of cheesy space shit. Uh, and the part six was really good. Part six was pretty good, yeah. 
uh, my controller just stopped and I just started walking to the center of the screen there. That was a little weird. We'll deal with these guys once I work out what I'm doing with them. Oh, okay. Ow. Ow. These are harder than the grenades. <clears throat> and you have to stay still when you throw them, so they just throw another one at you. Throw it. I'm glad this is working. Yeah, he popped out of existence, ignore that. I'm dead. Dead monkey. Uh, yeah. Um, part six was great. The the theme, the all of the soundtrack was provided by Alice Cooper, basically. Yeah, it was like, it's very, it had everything, it was well shot, the characters were kind of good, Tommy Jarvis was in it, uh, and the fact that I remember that character's name, and that he's important to the canon, and he was in part fucking six, the fact that like, all of it's quite interesting, like they add tension to shit, my character's running away for no reason, there we go, he jumped out whilst I blew up the pot. They all kind of just stand there frozen in a single thing as well. They're not idling, they're just standing there. Don't really need that. Yeah, part six is really good. Part six, Friday the 13th, is really good. I don't know if it was like an attempt to return to form for the franchise or if they were just trying to make it like the 80s as fuck version because it's also 80s as fuck. But uh, it's good. It's good. Ow. pay attention to these, because some of them you can pick up and some of them will just explode. And it's like uh, only two shades different. See, and then they start glowing again. To tell you that they're about to explode. Oh, we're right near the end last time. Cute because a baby did it, not gross. 
Okay, that was just one. Clear the caves. They said the first trial, and I thought that meant there was more trials. Okay. How many eggs do we have? We only need three more eggs. But one of them will be at the end of the snake slide. Which is really hard. I remember it being hard from before. And I fucked up. And I fucked up. It's only hard because they wanted to make the physics wonky. Uh, part 6 was really good. It's got like a car scene. It's got uh, all of the gratuitous sex and violence scenes you anticipate from a film like this. It's everything that you want from a Friday the 13th movie. It's maybe a little cheesier than the originals, but like it's really just like a lot of effort was put in, you know, like a lot of work was put in. So now we only need two eggs. Uh, yeah, like, you could tell effort was put in, you could tell work was written on the plot, the direction, there was a car chase, there's, like, you know, characters don't believe each other, like, there's elements to this shit, like, stuff happens, like, you know? Did we do that? We didn't do that, did we? Let's go do that. Bash, which was literally like a Mario Party clone that wasn't particularly good. And then tried to have a story mode like it was like a real full-fledged uh, Crash Bandicoot game, which is hilarious. Well, well, that was a That's quick. Battle indeed. Please accept this prize for winning the first round. MJ. like a tank mini game, it's not bad. Oh, I thought they'd give me more dragonflies. flies. Oh, I'm not even out of the fucking... Oh, I'm dead. I'll give it one more shot if it, if it respawns me right there, you know? If it's like halfway across the map, I'll just be like... You may now enter the championship. My mice. Cause then I have a hundred eggs. Oh no, if I have a hundred eggs, is it gonna do a Spyro 2 gulp encounter on me? And I'd be like, no, you have to fight the sorcerer, shut the fuck up. Ooh. 
two more. Yeah, but part seven, man, you immediately it was a different production house and a different director, and it just you felt it straight away that it was done on a less budget. The res like straight up the resolution and the way they shot it felt cheaper. Uh, the actors they got were just unmemorable. And they were trying to really push this all oh, like psychic chick who was telekinetic and psychic because apparently they were the same thing for the purposes of this movie. I just catch him on the edge. Oh, look at him strafing around. No, 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 no. These guys always look a bit uncertain of what they're saying, you know? Oh, TJ. MJ, TJ. Good job these guys have a universal currency that they're just unaware of. Much like every other Spyro game. Oh. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, we can leave now. We cleared this place out. If you ignore the treasure I have been ignoring. Nah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Part 7 was a confusing mess. There were straight up plot holes in it. There are times when main characters find a dead body, go, ugh, turn around, go back to talk to other people and act as if nothing had happened because I'm pretty sure those scenes were taken out or added in later to add because there was literally no scariness at all without them there you know it's just like oh we better have the doctor see a dead body but then he goes straight back indoors as if nothing had happened and goes uh yeah we should stay here and you're like what the you're not gonna mention and then they go out looking for a kid and he still doesn't mention to the person he's in the car with, oh, by the way, there's, like, a fucking... I saw a dead body. <laughs> you know, that's not something you see every day. I, the whole thing was really weird. Yeah, there was, like, whole drop plot points where they're like, he knew, he knew. And you're like, what do you mean he knew? He knew. And he has this spike. And I'm like, maybe this is something that didn't come up in part six. But what the fuck's the spike? And they're like, yeah, he knew the spike, the spike. He knew all about it. And I'm like, what? What the fuck? He's keeping us here. And I was like, maybe I'm missing something. I was only kind of like, I was starting to get bored because it was like, all of the girls were, had the same haircut and looked roughly the same. Oh, this is pretty cool. I don't remember this one. Oh, you're an enemy. Mean. You're an enemy. Are there no friendlies to talk to here? Oh, they're in jail, that's why. They only slightly touched upon the western theme. Well, yeah, we have Cliff Town in the first one. Up my purser, only to find out he somehow got away again. Then when I came in to look around for clues, one of them rowdy dinosaurs... This is the only ever accent the voice actors wanted now to do. Now they're out there causing all sorts of trouble, and there's not a thing I can do about it. I will save you. Dinosaur Cowboys. Why not? Uh, yeah, it was just, it was trying to do a lot of things. It was failing miserably. A lot of the actors and actresses were forgettable and had forgettable names. There was someone called Mandy, someone called Maddie. 
like the guys going into the place where they've all been murdered by Jason and going, David, Ellen, and I'm like, the fuck's Ellen? <laughs> Who the fuck's Ellen? And like, you, you just sat there, I don't even know or care about these teen, and I know that a lot of the time they're there just to be killed, but like, they at least have something. This one just felt so like they had a really poorly thought out gimmick. Oh, he just has straight up has a triceratops as a minigun. What the hell? No, oh, I didn't check the time before finishing this Egyptian one. This is gonna be a long one. I'm just focusing on trying to get through the game. They're all so big, can I charge them? I cannot. Hold on. Somehow missed that one. Better check. Help the shooter now. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. Like it's helping me. Ah. <laughs> that Triceratops is ripped. Yeah, uh, part seven is awful. Uh, like, they try and introduce a lot of stuff that they clearly think is gonna, like, start off a whole spin off franchise. Uh, but it's just barely thought out trash. Where they're just like, oh yeah, like she's psychic and she's got, so she's prone to emotional breakdowns. And her boyfriend, who's barely characterized at all, is her rock, who's big and handsome. And it's gonna be a whole thing in the future, it's gonna be great. And you're like, oh, okay. Except they're about as, like, interesting as dishwater. And the gimmick is really poorly put together and barely a gimmick at all, <laughs> like, you know. One of the non-counselors' uh, whole thing as well, by the way, was uh, that she was a bitch, and she's the last one to die, and you're like, you're literally here as the character that everyone's like, please die, and then she dies, and she dies in a really unentertaining way that you're just like, oh, is that it? Fucking hell, this t Triceratops. Try hard ceratops. Try harder tops. We just gonna run. Never gonna get through this. Uh, yeah. Oh. Have more health, you dick. Ah! Caught in a fucking door frame. Oh, it'd be so nice if they'd give me the fucking butterfly. There we go. Without getting my ass blown up. No, don't shoot me! I can't kill him! I can't kill him! What the hell?! Spolosaurus refuses to die. Oh, you have to charge him. That was, that was hard. This is a very empty house without these things killing me. There's 
whirling his guns around over here. Yeah, so, um, <coughs> yeah, <coughs> part six was a lot more fun than, uh, part seven. Then, uh, Jason X was really fun in a completely different way, where it was just not even trying to be taken seriously. It was very violent. Uh, ah, touching them is enough. Romney. I run me. You got so many eggs. Gunsaurus. I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm gonna basically watch um, the it, as many Friday the Thirteenth as I can. I watched part three as well, and that was a very weird place to start off the classic trilogy because it was really just watching a man in a bed sheet blunder around and fail to, and get overpowered by literally anybody jumping on his back and him going oh. Uh, uh. And it being a bit like, really? It's not really building tension, it's just watching a guy and everyone scream, going, ah, it's Jason, and then him just getting fucking wrecked by everybody. It wasn't that fun, so it was very unmemorable for me. And I'm kind of saving the first two for later, because I really wanted to just get, like, Hockey Mask Jason as a thing, uh, watch him do the, the thing he's famous for. These guys are a problem, holy shit. Ah, oh, another Agent 9. Someone got all the levels. they want me to do to evade that guy because he's got a very high and wide arc so I'm just supposed to wait for him to stop I guess uh, yeah I'm saving one or two because he doesn't have his mask ban and it's the first one's actually his mom, you know, it just, I thought I'd save them for, like, when I was, you know, had my Jason fix, I thought I'd watch all the goofy ones first, you know, the, the ones that go a bit crazy with it. That busted you out. Yeah, um, I want to watch Jason Goes to Hell and Jason Takes Manhattan. I'll probably watch one of them tonight if my internet stays up pretty decently. Uh, because I, I stream in them. One of them dinosaurs threw an A down this flooded mine shaft. <laughs> I'd get it back for you, but I ain't such a strong swimmer. <laughs> I think I cowboy hat. One of these again. Don't get hit by anything. Ow. It's okay. I 
even realize that they would count it. Oh no! Wow! Do I have to hit them? Whoa! 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 Oh no! Ooh, lots of TNT. Lots of TNT. Lots of TNT. I got shot. At oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> I thought the last guy you just got stuck because I hadn't killed anyone, and it was just like bang. <laughs> it was like you lose. It was like oh, that felt harsh. Oh well, I did it. Uh, oh yeah, Agent Mine. Just kind of spaced out there. Let's go do Agent Mine, and then we're gonna call this one a day, and then we've got one more level. Oh, we don't have one more level. Uh, we just have this one in the final boss, so uh, basically, after that we'll be done. House of the Dead is happening. Or Time Crisis. Ah, oh, I used to have them on my PS3. That was fucking sick. House of the Dead 3, 4. Uh, was it Overkill? Maybe an Overkill. I don't really like Overkill. A lot of people liked Overkill. I just felt like it was stupid. Felt like it was Overkill. Which I guess was the point. Ow. Ow. Dogs are just going fucking nuts. I hate people who leave their dogs to bark and go, oh yeah, they just want to bark. It's like, no. Nah. They're bored and going crazy. And you're a terrible owner. I'm helping these guys and they're trying to kill my friends. I got one point of health. Dead. Uh, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, I'm gonna watch uh, Jason Goes to Hell or uh, Jason Takes Manhattan next. If you just calm down for a second, well, good luck, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do next. It may have been overkill. I feel like it was three, four, but there was another one. It wasn't overkill. Maybe it was. I thought I bought overkill separately. It may have been overkill, never mind. I bought it for three and four. And it was really good. Uh, it also had like the special chapters for or where you get to play as G or G assisting you. I really wanted two and one as well, but they don't really, really pull them forwards. I think it's something to do with they don't actually have the original code for those games anymore because they thought it was going to be a flop, so they just lost when they lost the code for uh, after they went into the. Uh, arcades the first time, they were basically like, oh yeah, no one's gonna ever want these anyway, it's crap. And then everyone was like, we, we like House of the Dead. No, I'm clipping, I'm already buried. So yeah, that would have, that was pretty good. Uh, playing House of the Dead 3, like, crazy, was absolutely fun. I, I went through and I did all the bosses, I took all of the pathways, I'm glad the reticle keeps getting stuck because that makes it so much easier. 
she's actually shooting more slowly than he normally shoots for this, so... I've broken that so many times. Jimmy. to hit everything twice. This feels like they take too long to respond so you hit them twice, right? the whole game. It seems like I'm doing it actually worse. But you can't hit them both in time, and then it sends you to three of them. Like, it's not moving fast enough. Two of them, but they all draw. They all draw at the same time. Oh, I just need more health for that bit, I think. Fuck off. They get one shot off, and that's up, like a third of your health gone. It's counting as a hit as well. See that? That was on the right of the reticle there and it kind of bounced off the wall and counted. Bad all these dinosaurs get in the way of each other so you can't hit them properly. Shoot them all in the dick. Ah, the red dinosaur got away. We need like a hit spark. Or to fall down or like make a noise when they've been hit, you know, like a Rrr. Oh, that last area is really hard. 
Is this balanced or am I bad? Why aren't you helping? Fuck me, I guess. This guy just covers this guy so he always gets a hit in. I shot him. Oh, you get a hundred health if you shoot the red dinosaur. Okay, that's good to know. To basically never miss this dinosaur. No, 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 no. Are they dead? I'm hitting them at the base because that's the easiest place to hit them, you know? Wow. Okay. Just slaughter here where they're like landing on top of each other and shooting volleys after each other. You know, like one after the other. Oh my god. going for and it's neat and I'm enjoying it but Jesus is this hard you gotta hit them right to left otherwise you just get fucking wrecked because of one on the right shoots first how is a kid supposed to do this in the face I shot you. I shot you. Every time with this twat. Oh. I get so distracted by the guy on the left that is blocked by the blue dinosaur that I then get shot twice because I get shot by him. And then, like, um. Because I get shot by him, I get shot by the other guy because I'm too busy trying not to get shot by him. It's very. Oh, and the reticle got stuck. Great. Isn't it great when the game's controller, the controller just fucks you over? And yes, John's. Big John's. Because it just gets stuck in a place like, duh. And you're like, no, move! I did it again! Bad run, bad run. Bad run! Take a hit ever again. Is that it? I'm sure there's more of them. They always left first. Yeah. Come on. Dinosaurs covering dinosaurs is your biggest problem. I did it! I didn't get hit! Oh, 
big achievers. This is left to right. I killed him and he didn't give me a. Well, now I'm gonna die. Well, how did I get help? How did I get help? <clears throat> is hitting them in the head giving me extra health or something? Is it like rewarding me for headshots, this kid's game? Oh great, I got stuck again. Awesome. Get stuck on the easy bits where I can recover from the bullshit quicker. What gave me health? I feel like I'm missing something. Right to left, right to left. No! I still got hit. I wonder what, what it was. Maybe it was a bug. Because I got a skill point. And it put me out of the game for a second. Getting hit by dumb shit now. These bits are slow as all hell. Making sure I'm not missing anything. Button checking. They always confuse me, the guy inside the house, because two show up and they, they stand in exactly the same place. This is so hard, what the fuck? doesn't tell me anything. I thought it'd be like, shoot them for health, or like, shoot them in the hat for health or something. No, so their hat is part of their hitbox. Gives me hell. <clears throat> uh, thanks, controller. Thanks. It's left, right, center now. Am I losing lives on this? So I should check. I am. Oh, I mean, game over at this rate. Let's just get some gems and get out of here. <coughs> I'll come back and do this uh, after the boss uh, in an after hours. Dragon show. This is handling real weird now. Well, it feels wrong when a standard thing has a load of. have one gem if they're a small one. That's the rules. Except when it regularly ignores its own rules. Like that one. 
big chests have big gems, that's known. Hmm. What was even the point of putting gems here if you can't pick it up while you're doing the rail shooter minigame? This would be annoying, I guess. Okay, that's everything. Yeah, you can do sniper mode when you are. Oh. in that blue house have I been in it? Is there anything in the blue house? It's just like a break the windows, you know. No. Gradually going through all the Friday the 13th, then I'm going to go through some, some Nightmare on Elm Street, some Hellraiser, and some other things, just because I never watched them. Calm down for a second and stop. No. Well, I'll just try to hold them off until some more help arrives. Good. Uh, yeah. You know, just gradually, because there's a lot of movies which I just completely, you know, slip past me by, so, yeah. 